We're here today at the uh, Chrysler Group headquarters in Auburn Hills, Michigan, talking about the 2014 Jeep Cherokee and some of the unique design aspects of it. When we design an interior for the Jeep brand, we have to go back all the way to where Jeep came from. And, and of course, the, the, the groundbreaking vehicle, the 1941 Jeep Willis. So there are certain design cues that we even um, bring into our modern vehicles that go all the way back to 1941. One thing is, of course, is the, the face of the Jeep uh, Willis. Uh, and we have that in the center stack in the trapezoidal wheel arch which we put on the top of the instrument panel as a shape. It's a nice blend of structural look and, and, a, and a sculpted look. So those are the things we, we, we incorporate in our modern design even. And then of course we enrich it with, with modern day technology uh, and, and uh, little fun things that we call Easter eggs to give it this holistic Jeep package. On the top of the instrument panel, we put storage uh, behind the screen because these days the screen the technolog technology is so advanced, the package is so thin that it again gives us opportunity to some, for some nice storage up there. Underneath the uh, passenger seat, if you flip up the seat cushion, you'll find a nice storage where you can leave things out of sight. And that's also the area where we hit one of the Cherokee's Easter eggs, uh, the map of uh, one of the famous trails called Hell's Revenge, but I'll let you find it yourself. In our interiors today, every single car you buy from us, Jeep Cherokee included, has fundamentally the right materials. So you will find premium materials throughout the cabin and overall a really nice uh, designed color and material story, which on the Cherokee, by the way, is not inspired by, let's say, fashion or architecture, uh, things that other people have done somewhere else before us. But in, in the case of the Jeep brand and the Cherokee, it's actually inspired by nature. So we found locations like, let's say, the Grand Canyon, um, Mount Vesuvio, uh, in, uh, in a volcano in, in Europe, and we were inspired by those colors and the orchestration of colors we see in those landscapes. One of the fun things when designing a Jeep interior is, is bridging this intense um, distance between 1941 and, and what Jeep was was born for, you know, the capability, the functionality, and then of course with the technology that 2013 offers. And what we've added to this uh, Cherokee is uh, the 8.4-inch touchscreen Uconnect. And we combine that with a 7-inch instrument cluster display. Now, we're not only using that cluster display to display the, the typical things you find in any car, but we have cheap specific pages. And we have also, again, um, some fun Easter eggs hidden in those pages. For example, when you go to the parallel parking, the automatic uh, parking, parking system uh, in this vehicle, It'll use 1941 Jeep Willis's as a reference vehicle for you to orient yourself where you are in the parking process. So again, we're mixing technology with, and it, but we infuse it with the soul and the character of, of what Jeep stands for. The exterior design goal for the 2014 Jeep Cherokee was to really move the vehicle beyond expectations for Jeep. Most people expected us to do a, a, a box, something very square. Uh, but the, the box doesn't convey that it's a very efficient vehicle like this new Cherokee is. The, uh, the shape of the vehicle is very modern, very aerodynamic, and it, and it conveys that through the shape. But then it's got to be a Jeep too. The designers went way out uh, and, and explored a lot of different options on this. Immediately you'll see a, a very new modern composition, but then it's you'll see the Jeep sort of come into focus. We've, we've got the same uh, Jeep cues that we've always had since 1941. The slotted grill, uh, the trapezoidal wheel arches, but it's done in a very modern way on a new shape. What makes up the 2014 Jeep Cherokee? Uh, the front end, of course, uh, very modern, has this great wind split in it. People ask me, you know, where does the kink in the grill come from? And it's something that's it's been subtle on Jeep vehicles of the past, but we've really amplified it here in, in a much more modern way. The lights are lifted up high in the front. Um, you'll see that the, the actual headlights are lower, and then there's a daytime running light up higher. When the vehicle's driving, those, those lights are always lit, and it, it sets up the signature of the front end of the vehicle. When you go down the side, there's pieces of, of Jeep uh, that are probably more subtle most people won't pick up on. Uh, specifically the kink in the belt line right at the front door, the belt line dips down and rises back up to the A-pillar. Uh, 
Uh, that was, that was a, an element that the designers picked up off of the half door on a Wrangler where it has that, that drop in it. It's done uh, to meet the A-pillar and, and then have the belt line kind of low. But for off-roading, it's great to have that, that lowered area there to, uh, for outward visibility. So in my mind, it's, it's very organized. There's a, there's a uh, tough lower uh, black band of, of cladding. That's, that's the part that you drag through the mud and the rocks and the dirt, and then the, the clean upper. Thanks for your time today. On behalf of the Jeep brand, thanks for watching. And for us, it's now time to get back to work.